Good afternoon and welcome to Oldfield Drive, which is a small exclusive gated development of just seven houses uh, on the eastern outskirts of Haywards Heath off the Lewis Road. Uh, I'm going to take you in the pedestrian gate, but obviously each resident has uh, a remote control to get into the development. Uh, the development, like I say, comprises just seven rather lovely individual detached houses. They're all five beds. I think one of these even got six. Um, and they all offer some rather lovely accommodation. We actually sold this development for Carla Homes just uh, a few years ago, 2016, I think most of the residents moved in. And I'm here to show you number three, which is just in here on the left. Number three has a lovely south facing plot. The owner bought it from us brand new and has carried out several improvements, which I'll explain as we go around. But to give you a clue, the garage could still be a double garage if you wish, but they've made that into a gymnasium and studio. Uh, they've re-landscaped the rear garden, which was um, sloping. So they've flattened that. They put in an outside entertaining area, including an outside kitchen. So it really is designed for outside entertainment. But come and have a look. So it's a five bedroom, four bathroom detached house. And like I say, it sits on a plot, which is all south facing. These are your neighboring properties here. Gives you an idea, but rather lovely. And now, like all these modern developments, they all pay an estate charge and a service charge to look after the gates in this case, insurances, um, and uh, things like the maintenance of the communal areas. And they've all been paying around a thousand pounds a year, which is quite reasonable for a small development of just seven. However, the residents, I believe, have just decided to take over the management of this themselves. So they're expecting those costs to drop. So let's have a look around. So the ground and first floors, you've got underfloor heating throughout. The very top floor you'll see has got a radiators up there. So firstly, lovely entrance hall, this beautiful tiled floor. Very handy under stairs cupboard there. You've got a downstairs loo. All beautifully finished. The house is absolutely spotless. Another storage cupboard. And then taking around in order. Front room, this is very much being used as the study. The owner works from home. Really nice to have a double aspect room. And, and Carla put these really low windows in, which I think is quite a nice feature. So a good size study there. Great for home working. Across the hall, you've got the dining room. Similar size to the study. I did question Carla when we sold these houses originally. I sort of questioned the fact that the uh, the living rooms weren't that big, and at the time, kitchens, big kitchens, were really starting to take off. And they actually did point me out to me that it's not all about living rooms now. A lounge in particular is very much a TV room. This one's got one of the bigger lounges, but they said it's all about the kitchen. And you'll see in a second when we get into the kitchen, it is enormous. And here's the lounge. So one of the biggest lounges in the development, and this one also has doors out to the garden which is south facing. That's just a fraction of the garden. It all goes around the other, other way. So a lovely room. And the owners are offering the property with no one would chain. They're um, considering their options, but uh, there's a possibility they may emigrate. And here's the kitchen. So beautifully fitted. It's all got natural stone worktops. As you can see, you've got the LEDs. They've got two more well, double wine chiller. All the usual appliances are built in. So that's very much the kitchen area. You've got another bank there with the appliances and then plenty of space for lounging around. And of course, full width breakfast bar, spilling onto the garden. I won't show you the whole garden yet, but give you an idea. It goes all the way around behind the garage. And then this area, wonderful entertaining area. And there's even an outside kitchen, which I'll show you in a moment. Utility room, you want one of those. Plenty of space in there. And then come upstairs. Now, highly versatile, the accommodation, the whole top floor, when Carla were designing these houses, the top floor could have easily been split to make two bedrooms, but actually they left it as big as it is uh, for someone who may want an open pair or like a self-contained flat, or again, people working from home. So going around in the bedrooms, this is probably the smallest bedroom, so a nice size double. As you can see, that's overlooking the front of the property. Now we're right on the eastern outskirts of town. If you could actually go through that garage over there, there's a field there. And beyond that field, you've got Snowdrop Lane. There's a local pub around there called the Snowdrop Inn, which is rather lovely. So that's your nearest pub. That's within a 10 minute walk. You're also being on the edge of town. You can actually walk through to what is we, we call the Northlands Wood Estate, which is on this end, on the southeastern side of Haywards Heath, which is a very popular housing estate. There's a really good primary school around there. And uh, you can walk down to a little Tesco shop. So if you need a pint of milk and a paper on a Sunday, you can easily do that. That's probably the fourth bedroom. Across the way, you've got the family bathroom. All the bathrooms are pretty impressive. This one's got an oversized shower. 
and a full bath. I'm going to tile all the way around the walls to half height. Airing covered opposite. And front, this is the guest, one of the guest bedrooms. So this is a very pretty room with, again, plenty of wardrobes. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot of wardrobes. This was the second of the show houses, actually, and the owner bought this as very much a show unit. And this one has its own ensuite here with a full-size shower. Again, really nicely done. So again, underfloor heating on this level. And then this is the main bedroom. So a super-sized bedroom, really big. And then this one has the walk-in dressing room, all fitted out. And bathroom across the way. And the bathroom, as you can see, has a bath and an oversized shower. So it's a full suite. Like the family bathroom, it's a full bathroom suite with shower and bath. This one's overlooking the rear. Uh, now, I mentioned locally, you've got the little local primary school. Uh, children from this side of town generally go to Oat Hall Community College, which is over in neighbouring Linfield. That's just over a mile to our north. Uh, and the local area is well served by some really good independent schools. So your nearest co-ed prep school is Great Walstead. You've also got Cumnor House. You've got Arding Lake College. Just quickly to tell you, that is a very big walk-in cupboard. That's like a loft space, so you can put all your junk in there. Um, like I mentioned, Arling Light College, you've got Worth Abbey, Hancross Park, you've got Burgess Hill Girls just down the road. And um, those schools and some of the county's other excellent independent schools, including Beads, Brighton College, Lansing College, Rodine, they all run a school bus service with pick-up points close by. And in fact, some of them actually have a pick-up point in Hayward Heath and just along the road in Skeynes Hill. This is the top bedroom. So this is what I'm saying. This could have easily been two bedrooms or, as you can see, it's just one fantastic teenager's dream. He's got his own TV area, double bed, gaming section. Like I say, you could easily put a little kitchen up here for an au pair. And then this one has another bathroom. So full on suite with an oversized shower, all nicely done. So that pretty much sums up the inside of the house. Let's go and have a look in the garden. Now, if you like countryside, it's all on your doorstep. If you want to go for a walk with a dog, you've got everything around the corner. You can walk down through the Abbotsley Estate, down through the back to Skeynes Hill, through to Lindfield. Some really lovely areas there. Just grab my shoes. So a good bit of space there. Really nice. They gave them these very big entrance halls as well, which is a big bonus. And then come through. Let's go and have a look in the garden. So the back garden, I'll show you the entertaining area in a second, but just before we do that, let me just take you around this side. So you've got the full width terrace. There's a lot of outside lighting. Now down the side of the house, because the owners have made the garage into a studio, they put all this storage space in here. So very handy cupboards, good for bikes and logs and so on. And then the garage, ah, the lights are off in here. Let me flip those on. As you can see, they've kitted this out. The doors are still there, so it really is ready to go. But they've put some, uh, looks like Antico, one of these laminate floors down. And what we have got out here, there's an air con unit, which is for heating and for cooling the air. But what a great room. If you want it as a dance studio, fitness suite, whatever you like. And then let's take you around to the really good bits of the garden. Now this garden did slope, it sloped upwards. The owners had this leveled, so it really has gone to town. You've got this lovely patch of grass, which is absolutely flat, enclosed by the sleepers. And you can probably see you've got the uh, inset uh, lighting. And when you come around the back, you get a good idea of the size of the house. Square footage wise, it's about, the house itself is 2,900 square feet, plus of course the garage. And what you don't take into account, you've got this fabulous, Pergola. Now this has all been installed a few years ago. These are all, everything's remote control. So the, the ceiling, those shutters, they turn and close. You've got these wind and uh, sort of mosquito uh, side panels on these three sides, plus the infrared heating. The jacuzzi is there. That's been semi sunken in. If, you're not, if you don't want it, that can go, but that could be for sale. And also on that wall there, you've got a TV bracket and points. So for watching uh, the sports in the summer, that is great. And if you are entertaining friends, everyone needs an outside kitchen. And this has all been put in as well. So this useful side courtyard, on this side, we are on the west side of the house. So this gets all the evening sun. The sun sets over there. There's your nearest neighbor. So they're there. You've got this big 
breakfast bar and fab kitchen with a, as you can see, you've got a fridge, the microwave, washing facilities, plus the gas bottle area, all with lighting. So it's all very good. But there you go. That is number three, Oldfield Drive. It's a beautiful, detached, five bedroom, four bathroom house with three reception rooms, an enormous kitchen and utility room, a south facing garden. And as you can see, we've done a lot of planting. So this house, the garden is getting more and more secluded. For a house that's just over six, seven years, well, six years, not even six years old, it's pretty impressive. I hope you're impressed. If you'd like to have a look, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Hayward's Heath. Thanks for watching.